Yeah, for, for sure. The earlier you get out, the uh, better. Not too bad out there right uh -huh. now, but it is going to heat up. Not getting out of hand with the uh, temperatures, but yeah, that humidity, it is going to be high, and it's going to feel like it's up over 100 for sure a little bit uh, later on today. So if you're going to be getting out next hour or so, yeah, you're still not looking too bad out there. We'll have the mostly cloudy skies, too. 81 degrees as we take you over to Weatherford right now. Feeling like it's 85. You see those low clouds that have rolled in, all that the tropical moisture working its way into North Texas, and the same as we take you back out to a DBU. 81 one degrees feeling like it's 85 but the temperatures and humidity will continue to climb today and yes there will be a slight chance for a shower maybe a thunderstorm as we head into this afternoon those tropical like thunderstorms popping up especially east and south of Dallas and Fort Worth over the next couple of days most of us are going to stay dry we'll warm up today looking at mid 90s I think for the most part lower 90s maybe even some upper 80s a little farther south and east where those rain chances will be a bit higher today but the humidity yeah you'll feel that today it's going to feel like it's up around 100 maybe 102 in some areas this afternoon so yes it is going to be very warm humid out there as far as any uh, rain is concerned only isolated in nature you see as we head into our time cast later today out toward Palestine Palestine, Mejia, Nacogdoches, our far southeastern counties, and we may see one or two of those stray on in toward the Metroplex as we head into the early evening hours. Those will dissipate, though, and then as we head into tomorrow, we will have a little bit better chance, I think, in our southern counties for seeing those showers and thunderstorms developing those brief heavy downpours. Cloud to ground lightning will be the main concern, I think, with those are tropical downpours that we'll see. Some of that may continue in our eastern counties into the evening hours before dissipating as well. Now, as far as what is now Hurricane Hannah, it's going to be bearing down on the uh, south Texas coast as we go through the uh, rest of today making landfall as that category one hurricane. It looks like a little bit later on today and you see where the hurricane warnings are now in effect down through Corpus Christi areas of south of there. So we're talking about heavy rain, dangerous rip current and a surf along the coast upwards of two to eight inches of rain, maybe in some areas as the storm moves on into Oklahoma. So you can see that the rainfall forecast today through Monday, you can see those are seven, eight inch totals in some areas over four inches around Corpus Christi. And then the rainfall really tapers off as we head farther north. So minimal impact impacts here as far as any real significant heavy rain is concerned. We'll just have the isolated showers and thunderstorms as we go through the day. So the rest of the weekend, it is going to be warm, very warm and uh, humid. Isolated showers and thunderstorms today and tomorrow. And then as we head into the early part of the week, we'll keep it dry for Monday. But then as we head into the uh, early part of uh, net, or the middle part of the uh, week there, we will have the uh, chance for the uh, showers and thunderstorms that uh, will uh, develop once again maybe getting into Tuesday and Wednesday there as we get back to the 10 day forecast and then we'll turn up the heat a little bit more for you as we head toward the latter half of the week there going into the month of August.